trusty and true But feathers fell from our wings And we want it to be And we can't take back what is done, what is past. So feathers, lay down your fears, because we can't. Start from here Cause we never want it to be And we never want it to be Jealously tuned No withered into ugly things But we can Cause we can't take back what is done, what is past. So let us start from. Come alone, come with fear, come with love, come however you are, just come, come alone, come with friends, come with foes, come however So carefully closed Come however you are Just 
must come Trusty and True was written by a man named Damian Rice. You know, the first time I heard this song, it just really moved me deeply uh, to tears. I could so relate to it. I, sometimes you hear songs that feel like it could be your story that's being told. And that was exactly what this song felt like. When I was 19, I was just loaded down with a lot of guilt and regret. Uh, I had addictions, uh, one of which was pornography. And a lot of the vices that go with that, that just made me feel worthless and ashamed. You know, nobody knew the things I was going through. I certainly didn't want to tell anybody. I was afraid I'd be rejected. And I tried so many times to be free. I made so many promises to myself, yet I found myself over and over again back in the same junk that I was in. And it was through that despair of just recognizing I can't fix myself. I can't stop this that I decided to seek and find if God was real. You know, I, growing up in a Christian home and going to church doesn't make you a Christian, but it does expose you to Christ. And for me, it was, I had doubts of whether God was real or if this was just like a church club thing. Um, but at this point in life, I just wanted to find out if it was real because maybe if God was real, maybe he could help me. Maybe he could, could change my heart. And you know, I, I went to a Bible college. It was the next logical step, it seemed like, for me. And when I was there, I began to read the Bible. I began to listen to other people's stories. And I was just really moved by the fact that, you know, God said, even while you were yet sinners, I died for you. To recognize there is a God that loves us so much, even while we're broken. Not after we fixed ourselves, but while we were broken. In fact, his love isn't dependent upon our ability to fix anything. He just loves us, and his love is the thing that will set us free. And it was the thing that began to set me free. And as I began to change from the inside out, not trying to fix all the outward behavior issues that I have and with the addictions, but to actually just not crave that stuff anymore and to be happy to be free from it, um, I was so overjoyed. And I decided, you know, God, I want to follow you, and I want to serve you because you're good. Maybe some of you that are listening to this can re relate to that sense of brokenness and that guilt and shame and the fear of being found out. Maybe you've got stuff in your past that makes you feel as though God can't love you because of it. Or maybe you've got stuff going on right now that you know better and here you are and you wish that you weren't in it. God loves you. He sees everything that you've been, everything that you've done, and he loves you. His love is not going to be affected by your history. And he invites you to come, come unto me, all you that labor are heavy laden, and I will give you rest, he says. And he's not talking about a nap. He's talking about rest for that weary, burdened soul that carries so much guilt and shame. He wants us to be free. He wants our hearts to be light. And this is the very thing that I know that God can do for you because he's been doing it for me in my life. So if your life isn't all that you wish that it was, I invite you to trust him and to come. <laughs> 